The Tower of London, the infamous fortress, became a site of execution and torture during the Tudor period, but even before this, it was a site of murder and scheming. Much is known about the two of Henry VIII's wives who lost their heads inside off the tower, but less is known, for example, about the horror that occurred there during the Wars of the Roses. It was where a king, Henry VI, was brutally murdered, presumably on the orders of the Yorkist king, Edward IV, who had seized the throne and imprisoned his rival. But it was this king, Edward IV, who had also wielded his might upon his own brother, who was subjected to a barbaric and brutal execution inside of the walls of the tower. George Plantagenet, the Duke of Clarence, was the brother of the king, and he was a treasonous backstabber, who crossed his brother many times, and he would pay the ultimate price, but he was executed in one of the most unique ways in history, being drowned in a barrel of Malmsey wine. Some historians even claim that this was requested by George himself, and that he went out doing what he did best, drinking. Join us today as we look at the execution of the Duke, drowned in a barrel of wine, and as always to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. George Plantagenet was born on the 21st of October 1449, inside of Dublin Castle. His father was the Duke of York, Richard Plantagenet, who was working as a Lord Lieutenant of Ireland at the time, and his mother was Cecily Neville. Two of George's brothers went on to become the Kings of England, as they championed the House of York's claim to the throne, against the House of Lancaster, and the family were intrinsically linked to the monarchy. George's father, the Duke of York, was the one who began most of the chaos and civil war across England, as he challenged the claim to the throne held by the Lancastrian king, but he was then defeated at the Battle of Wakefield in December 1460. But to make a statement against the Yorkists, the head of the Duke was cut off, then a paper crown was placed on his head, and it was displayed above one of the ancient entrances to the city of York. George's elder brother, Edmund, the Earl of Rutland, was also cut down during battle, and George, along with his brother, Richard, were moved to Burgundy for their safety, as he was protected in the hope that one day he would spearhead the Yorkist claims. But it was his older brother, Edward, who was known as the Earl of March, who would inherit the claim, and he would continue to fight against the House of Lancaster and the forces of King Henry VI. Edward defeated them at the Battle of Mortimer's Cross in February 1461, and then at the Bloody Battle of Toton, and with this Edward was proclaimed the King, becoming King Edward IV. He had succeeded in ousting Henry VI from the throne, and in taking the crown for the House of York, and Edward entered London victorious, and he was then crowned at Westminster Abbey. But George Plantagenet was now moving up in the world, as he was the brother of the King, and he received gifts and rewards from his brother, and his other siblings were given land and titles, with George Plantagenet becoming the Duke of Clarence. His younger brother Richard was named Richard the Duke of Gloucester, but Edward then married the spectacularly beautiful Elizabeth Woodville, and he made sure he was backed up by powerful earls, including the Earl of Warwick, Richard Neville, who was also known as Warwick the Kingmaker, as he held a huge amount of power. Whoever he backed usually won a battle, but George became a close friend of the Kingmaker. He wanted to marry his eldest daughter, Isabel Neville, but as was the rules of the time, he had to ask his brother Edward IV if this marriage could go ahead. The king refused to allow this, and in the face of this rejection, George and Isabel then travelled to Calais in 1469, and then got married. George began for the first time to show signs of dissent towards his brother, and he then got closer to his father-in-law, Warwick Kingmaker, and then the pair schemed to plan a revolt in England against Edward IV, George's brother. They supported a rebellion in the north, and the king then discovered that his own brother was plotting rebellion against him, and was being treasonous. George then lost his title the Duke of Clarence, and he ran off to France with his father-in-law the Earl of Warwick. The pair were cared for by the King of France, and they looked towards creating more chaos back in England. Warwick thought he could switch his alliance and allegiance, and then ally himself with the Lancastrian Queen, Margaret of Anjou, and he then dreamed of showing Edward IV his power once and for all, in trying to restore the deposed Henry VI back onto the throne. Margaret was the Queen of Henry, and George then sided against his brother again, and a huge argument erupted, and George went against what his father had fought for, and he sided against his birthright, 
and joined the Lancastrian cause. But George Plantagenet with his father-in-law and a group of soldiers then invaded England. They were trying to restore the dynasty and royal family they had for many years been fighting against. George was supporting the people who killed his father and his brother, and he realised very quickly that Warwick was not the man to be trusted, and he turned back towards his brother's side, and he apologised and repented for his actions. The Earl of Warwick was killed during the Battle of Barnet in April 1471, but shockingly Edward IV decided to then reinstate his brother's titles, and he was made the Great Chamberlain of England. This reconciliation would not last long, as George's younger brother wanted to marry Anne Neville, the other daughter of the Earl of Warwick, and George was incredibly angry as he did not want to share the estates of the dead Earl with his brother. A compromise was struck and Richard was allowed to marry, but George was to keep more of the land and the wealth. By all accounts, George Plantagenet was a very greedy man and he did with his wife have a number of children, including the future Countess of Salisbury, Margaret Pole. But tragically, his wife died in December 1476, and George tried then to marry the heiress of Burgundy, Mary, but the king yet again said he could not support this, and George was left a broken man. He left his brother's royal court in anger, and his mental state got significantly worse. George was now growing very paranoid, and he believed that his wife had been poisoned by a servant, and George then had this servant executed. He was disillusioned with his brother Edward IV, and he thought he'd been left to hang out and dry, but George then perpetuated rumours about the legitimacy of his brother's reign, and said that his father was not who he said he was, and that Edward IV was actually the product of an affair that their mother had had with an archer. He also said that the Queen was illegitimate, as Edward IV may have had a pre-contract of marriage with another woman, but Edward was close to losing his temper with his brother. The King executed one of George's significant members of staff, who was accused of witchcraft, to send a message to his brother, but he would not relent. George continued to slander and rebel against the king, and he went too far when he had the servant who allegedly poisoned his wife executed, and the king had had enough. The king had the last laugh, and ordered the arrest of his younger brother, and George Plantagenet was then locked up inside of the Tower of London, and was more importantly accused of the very serious charge of high treason that carried the death sentence. George Plantagenet, the Duke of Clarence, was then kept locked up in the Tower for many months, and he was then tried for treason, and Edward sentenced his own brother to death as he had had enough. It showed the ruthlessness of the Yorkist king, and he demanded an act of attainder that should be passed, declaring George's guilt for the treason offence. But George Plantagenet was not to suffer a simple beheading, which was expected, and neither would he be hanged, drawn and quartered. He was to be drowned in a barrel of Malmsey wine, and some historians have claimed that this actually happened, as it was a method of execution allegedly requested by George. Whilst inside of the Tower of London, the impenetrable fortress, George was executed in private within one of the towers. He was grabbed from his prison cell, and was taken into a room where the barrel of wine was, and he was then wrestled into it, in and out of the wine many times, and it caused a horrific suffering ordeal for George, as he was dunked in and out and drowned in it. But the story of George Plantagenet is a crazy one, and it shows how much of a traitor he could have been to his brother, and he many times turned on his own family, at a time when stability was key. The monarchy needed protecting and preserving, and George's work to discredit it did do some damage, with rebellions occurring across the nation. But Edward IV did whatever he could to eradicate treason and traitors, and this also meant executing his own brother. But interestingly, George's own daughter would later be executed for treason inside the Tower of London, with a terrible axeman taking many swings of the axe to take her head off on the Tower's cobbled streets during the reign of King Henry VIII, and this was done as she was believed to have had royal blood. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.